After combing for clues for nearly two weeks, an exhaustive search of the Long Island home belonging to Gilgo murder suspect Rex Sherman is over. We have obtained a massive amount of, of uh, material. Now, officials are stressing patience as they analyze and catalog what they found, removing box after box of material from the premises. Investigators finding a walk-in vault equipped with an iron door in the home and saying they seized 279 weapons. An excavator and ground piercing technology were also used to examine Hurman's backyard, where it does not appear remains were found. There is a, a whole entire trace analysis that we have to go through with the house uh, with regard to hair fibers, DNA, blood. The painstaking process playing out since the architect and father of two was arrested near his Manhattan office earlier this month, charged with killing three women, all sex workers, more than a decade ago. And Hurman's the lead suspect in a fourth death, too. His wife, who investigators say was away during the killings, has since filed for divorce and is going through a devastating time, according to her attorney. As police in other states are looking into potential connections to other unsolved crimes, including in Las Vegas, Nevada, where he had a timeshare, and in Atlantic City, New Jersey, for possible ties to the 2006 Eastbound Strangler case. I know that I was there as a potential victim. Former escort Nikki Brass says Hewerman brought up the Gilgo murders on a date back in 2015. But at one point, he said, How do you think they got rid of the bodies? Sensing something wasn't right, Brass refused to go back to his house, but never alerted authorities, fearing her own legal trouble. I honestly think had I gone back with him, I wouldn't be here today. The Gilgo Task Force is now expanding its investigation to other cold cases on Long Island. And the district attorney still would not say whether anyone was killed at Hureman's home. We reached out to Hureman's attorney for comment, but have not heard back. Hureman has pleaded not guilty to the murders and will appear in court next week. Okay, Emily, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.